this short video, we'll show you 10 easy steps for getting started with FCS Express. You can use any of your own data files to follow along. From the startup screen, click New Layout. From the Data tab on the ribbon, open the data list and drag the data files you wish to work with into the data list, or click the blue plus and navigate to them on your computer. Drag and drop the first file to the layout to insert a plot type of your choice. Click on the plot axes to change the axis parameters. Now it's time to create a gate on your plot. From the Gating tab, choose the gate type that you want to use, such as Polygon. When using Polygon, click once on each vertex, and then click on the original vertex or press space on your keyboard to close the shape. Give the gate a name. Next, you'll probably want to drill down on this and other populations. Drag and drop the gate out of the plot to open a new plot displaying this gated population. Then change the new plot's axes to new parameters. And draw a new gate on the second plot. Now that you have a few gates, you'll want to view an interactive legend of your gates. From the Insert tab, choose Gate View. Click on an empty spot on your layout to insert the object. From the Gate View, you can redefine your gating hierarchy, delete or rename gates, and more. You can also drag and drop gates from here to any plot to regate that plot. In FCS Express, you can view default summary statistics from any plot. The statistics will reflect the population that the plot is gated on. Simply right-click on the plot and choose Statistics to insert the default summary statistics table. You can right-click on the Statistics window to add or remove any desired statistic. Before you run the batch process, it's a good idea to preview the entire list of data files without creating replicate sets of plots for each. Simply use the Next Previous buttons on the Data tab to iterate your samples through your complement of plots. From the Batch tab, Click Batch Actions to open the available list of actions. First, we'll set up an Excel batch action. Choose Export to Excel column mode. Now you can choose which statistics and file names or other metadata you'd like to export to Excel. You can drag and drop items from the default statistics window or you can drag and drop plots and gates to the Excel badge action, in which case you can choose which statistics you'd like to export for that particular population. Using a similar procedure, we'll now set up a batch process action to PowerPoint. From the Batch tab, Batch Actions, choose Save to PowerPoint. We're now ready to run the batch process. From the Batch tab, click Run. All the data files in your experiment, which are viewable within the data list as shown earlier, will now be processed and summarized in visual and statistical form. Open your PowerPoint and Excel files respectively to see. For questions, please visit our website or email us at support at denovosoftware.com.